Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna tell you how to clean prawns in two ways so that you can use it as meat or with crispy skins. So here we get started. But before telling about how to clean, you must be aware of what does it prawn contains. Actually, my dear friends, it contains selenium. It is one of the most effective antioxidants at maintaining healthy cells. And let me tell you how to clean it. As you can see, I have torn it from the head and I am trying to remove its skin from removing its leg and then you can see I will press the fins and tails of the fish as you can see from here I will press it and it gets out so can you see this the meat came out very good now I'll try on the other one see it gets removed easily and now the back part see you can do it uh, with your fingers or uh, by nails anything so I was telling about uh, Brown's benefits and as you may know it also contains zincs which are beneficial for boosting our immunities and it didn't stop here but it also contains phosphorus copper and magnesium which are good for bones which makes our bones strong so as you can see i have peeled the prawns and uh, these are the meats and uh, here I have not peeled with the bones and I, you can see that these are the fresh prawns I have bought from the market and I am also trying just to remove their heads as you can see the heads and no need to remove the skins if you want to fry it or you can use just as it is in anything if you want to make tandoori prawns or prawn chili or crispy prawns you can use it just the way it is okay just you have to remove the head of the prawns can you see this good then I am repeating the same process in the whole time as you can see here can you see the difference between the first one and the second one I am letting you see it these are the heads of the fishes which is browns actually I'm using it and can you see this these are black in color and the hair the prawns meet with their skins I haven't removed their scales because I'm gonna use it in making tandoori prawns later on and as you can see this one this one is the only the fleshy part of the prawns and it can be used to make um, um, any gravy prawns like uh, if you want to coat it with the breadcrumbs or uh, you want to make uh, prawn curry you can use that one okay but for this one uh, you can make tandoori's and thank you